Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today guys, we're continuing with that Peugeot partner van. Did make some progress yesterday on it, done the service. Um, I managed to get that back door lock working as well. Couldn't believe it. Like, I, just, I didn't have to take apart the um, Citroen Berlingo back door. Um, I managed to get it done. Incredible. Um, it's just the way sometimes it, it goes. Um, so yeah, but I'll show you that in a minute uh but yeah i was obviously just cracking on uh, on the van yesterday uh while steve was cracking on with the um with the focus and uh polishing it three stage part uh, part polish guys so it's come out absolutely amazing uh i will spin you around in a second i'll walk you around and i'll show you what the results are on that focus which just looks so good so good so, yeah, I'm super happy with it, super chuffed. Uh, I know Steve's watching, so thanks very much, Steve, for all that um, work you've done yesterday. I know it was a hot one. I did have a fan going on you, so hopefully cooled you down a little bit. But, yeah, I really appreciate it, buddy, and I'll definitely be seeing you um, on another car very, very soon, uh, which you can um, help me out with. Yeah, so, but for now, let's get cracking. Um, I'll spin you around, have a look at this focus first, and then we're going to crack on with that van. Let's do this. Right, guys, look at the results of what Steve done yesterday. Um, there's no, <laughs> there's no indication about any of the painting. Uh, the painting looks, you know, even even Steve said to me, like, you know, even guys that's been doing it a few years um, can't get it to this, can't get it to this 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 point really. So the, you know, he was he was well, um, <laughs> he was well chuffed with the painting. To be honest with you. And yeah, I, do you know what I mean? I, I I think it's come out really well. Like, it, don't get me wrong, I did do a lot of flatten, flattening, didn't I? I was sanding, but he's come in yesterday um, and done a three stage uh, polish on it, and it just looks incredible. Just this, it's not immaculate, perfect, great. You know, it's not. He his his part was perfect. He's done an absolute amazing job. But the condition of the car, we've still got some little bits and pieces. There's still a little dent on this door here. Um, still a little few scratches on it and stuff like that. So it's not absolutely 100% perfect, but it is. Look at look at the condition of it, considering what I, what I, what I, when I got it first of all. It's just amazing. Um, so yeah, he's done an incredible job on it. And he's bought it right back out, the colour, um, and polished it right back up. So... Yeah, I'll be definitely using uh, Steve again to do some more work for me. You know, he'd done the bonnet, he'd done the roof, just the whole car. He just went over the whole car um, and he'd done an, an amazing, amazing job. And someone's going to get an absolute bargain as well for this car. So, yeah, I want to take some pictures, stick it up for sale. And uh, I'll I'll keep you informed and let you know, um, yeah, when it sells or what I get for it. But... Actually, drop me a comment, just a little, just a little, um, you know, just a little game, guys, just to see what you think. Let's see who can get the closest to um, the price to what I get for it. Now, I will tell you now. I spoke to the previous owner, and she pa was paid out five thousand pound for this car insurance payout, which is quite low to be honest with you they 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 really stiffed her i'll be honest with you because i've seen these go for like seven eight grand so i think they stiffed her a little bit on the five i think they probably sort of you know gave her the five the the, the first uh the first quote was five grand and she just took it um so yeah she should have she should have stuck out for a bit more money on this car to be honest with you but yeah payout was five grand so, yeah, drop me a comment, guys. Just a little bit of fun. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the cost, the price, what I can put this up for, um, and what's a, you know, a reasonable price for this car. Um, and I'll let you know. Keep me informed. So, let's crack on with the van. Um, so, I've done the service yesterday while Steve was doing the focus. So, that's all done now. Service is complete. Oil filter, air filter, new oil. So... That part of it's done. I've took the wheels off the front and back because uh, I wanted to check the brakes. And do you know what? The the pads are 
so thick. There's so much meat left on those pads. Um, and the discs, there's like a slight, tiny, slight lip, but nothing, nothing at all. So we haven't really got to touch these, apart from just check and make sure they're spinning all right and there's no binding and that sort of stuff. And they are, they're, they're, you know, they are spinning really well, really well. So that's good. Um, the rear, the same. Got a lot, a lot of meat on those, on those pads still. You can see it just there. I'm trying to get out the shade. Yeah, so, and there's a very, again, a very slight lip on the disc. So we don't need to do anything with the break-ins, um, discs and pads on this one, uh, guys, because, yeah, it's in really, really good condition. So that's that. Uh, I did do the back door as well. I've done the back door handle. Um, let me see if I can get around there quickly. I know I'm waffling on, and you guys just want to see me crack on with bits and pieces, but I need to keep you up, updated and informed. So, yeah, here we go. And it locks and shuts as well. And the light comes on. So, absolute result. We're done with that. Uh, I want something else, wouldn't I? I've got to put that, bo oh, I've got to put that board on. Bits, of, little, A few bits and pieces then. Not too much. Um... But yeah, at least uh, at least we've got a lock in, you know, a shut in, and, and and this this locks up as well. A little bit stiff. Oh, is it that way? I can't remember. It does it does work. Um, so yeah, at least we've got like a top lock and, and this locks as well. The only thing I can think of why this has happened, I don't think it's because someone's um, tried to break into this van. I don't I don't think it is. I think it's got something to do with a key. On the key. Um, I'll show you. There should be three buttons there. One is to lock. That's the back door. And this one is to unlock. The bottom, the one there is, is to unlock. And you can see that the button's missing. There should be that little, that little press button there. That little press button. There should be one there. So it looks like it's broken off. You can see it. So what I think has happened is, when it's broken off, the previous owner couldn't get into the back door because he couldn't unlock it. So I don't know if that's got something to do with it. I'm just guessing, you know, just it's all about guesswork at the end of the day. But we're moving forward with it. I've done the back door um, lock and handle, but the other blingo, that still uh, doesn't work and doesn't <laughs> lock. So I've still got to do that, which I... I've broken something that I didn't need to break in the end because I didn't even I didn't even use it as a as a reference guide. So, but yeah, this was the filter from yesterday. So pretty dirty, really needed to be done. So that's done. So yeah, we're going to crack on today. I want to get on with doing some of this work today. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pull it out even more. Just keep going. I'm going to when I spoke to Steve yesterday. Because uh, he's been in the body shop for you know a long time, he said just get something underneath there and jack it up whilst I'm pulling it out. He said and that that will sort of you know that really help because you can see that the line at the bottom there is too low. So yeah, Steve was giving me some pointers on this as well, um, and we'll just do you know do the best we can. I took the liner off as well so we can get behind there. So yeah, we're going to get cracking with this today. I'll set you up. Um, let's see what we can get done. Um, and we'll go from there. So let's do this. Right, okay, guys. So I've bought the van over this side because basically I'm going to be using a jack under that point there and lifting it up while trying to pull it out with the um, welder. That's the plan. That's what I'm going to try and do. Uh, so I thought if I bring it over here, it's going to be easier than rather be on the ramp um, and struggle but uh yeah whilst it's off quickly i will quickly show you the door handle so yeah works really really well as it should um the other thing i wanted to show you as well which i'll turn off the lights to show you now i spoke to the, the mot guy uh, about these headlights these led ones and he told me as long as we get a straight pattern line um, 
on each headlight, it's passable, it will pass an MOT. And he said the best way to do it, to check is to turn the lights off and turn it on and see if you what pattern you got. So I thought I'd quickly show you. Uh, it's not it's not the best, is it really? But you can see there's like a line that goes through. So you go right all the way through. Um, and nothing like above. So I'm wondering whether or not that's passable. That 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 headlight, that bulb. It seems to give a straight pattern, doesn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, it does seem to give a straight pattern. I'm not sure about that now. I'm not sure about that beam pattern. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> I might have to take it, just take it down here before, or just change the bulbs, just to, I don't know what to do now. Um, we'll see, we'll have a look at that. Um, I just thought I'd show you because the, the, that's what the MOT guy told me to do. Um, anyway, let's crack on with this. Let's see. Um, what we can do. Um, what I've decided to do uh, is I'm going to paint, because obviously this was where the lock was, so I'm going to put a bit of filler over that and get that filled and rubbed down. Um, but I'm not happy with this door bit here as well, so I'm thinking about rubbing this down and painting this. Whilst I'm painting this corner, I'm miles of painting the, that, that actual repairing as well. So, you know, how far do I take it again? Um, <laughs> Jesus, uh, let's get this repaired first. Let's get this different, get this pulled out and make that look better. Let's work on this and then we'll make a decision about what we're going to do with this. Um, definitely got to do that because that just looks horrific, horrible. And I want to do that, but it's just how, how far do you go? How far do you take it? Where do you stop? Um, yeah, let's work on this first. Let's have a go at this, because that's definitely got to be sorted out. I'm going to get a jack, go underneath. I'll set a camera up. Let's stick it on a tripod. Let's go for it, guys. And uh, let's see if, what we can do today. So let's do this.
So, guys, there we go. Um, you know, I've got it out as far as I can. If you look down there, it's hard to show it on camera, really, but it's this is is so much out compared to what it was. This was the worst part, um, and then I just managed to sort of pull, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Um, went up there as well, pulled all that out, and I think that's kind of as far as I'm, I'm going to be able to get it, really, um, without spending another week just on this bit. I think that's going to be it. Um, I take took down the paint as well here because I want to put a little bit of filler on these scratches here. They're quite deep, them scratches there. So I took it right back so we could get a bit, a bit of filler on that uh, on that um, bare metal there. Uh, I've done this as well. Um, just sort of put a couple of um, spots on there and pulled it out a little bit, messed around with it. Took it back as well. I want to take it back a little bit more, the paint, just so that I can get that bit of filler on there where the holes were for the... Um, for the for the lock thing yeah so um i think that's where we are with it i'm probably gonna do now is uh i suppose start building up some filler um and then just start working it around and just seeing how it looks really and just see how it goes all i can do uh but help like actually getting a jack underneath and and pushing it up really did help so um you know and steve told me that the um polisher uh detailer he told me how to do that so yeah another little tip learnt which is good so i think what we'll do is we'll go for a bit of filler now and we'll just start putting it on um and working it working it back a little bit and just seeing what it looks like uh when i paint it this side i think i'm going to take this door off because I, know, I want to get inside there as well, you see. You know, I want to get all this, these edges and stuff done as well. So I think I'll take the door off, paint the door separate, this this bottom section of the door, uh, off the van. That way I can get into there, and then I'll just sort of tape it off as far as I can, really. But, yeah, it's going to be a lot of taping off um, and put some plastic sheeting over this door here and then um yeah we'll just we, like, i can then just paint this this sort of this bottom part going up and then paint this part of the door as well um i don't know how far i take this that's the trouble with it in it, it really if you start how far do you go with it i might have to do the door take the door handle off um oh god it's just that far do you know what i mean it's just you just can keep going and keep going and keep going can't you Might have to do the whole door. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know now. I, you know, I'm going to do this, but then, you know, I've started to notice other bits on the door. So, do do I just do the whole whole door going up or whatever to the to there? But then if I do that, then I've got to do the same section of this door. And then you just keep just keep going and going and going, don't you? Um, I don't know in a minute. I'll have to work that out. Definitely got to do that section there, that, that area. So I've just got to sort of... I just don't want it to make look different. That's the trouble now. That is the trouble. Is the colour going to look the same? The shade. Anyway, let's get on with the filling anyway, first of all. Let's get that done and get that prepped um get the preparation done first because prep 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 it's going to take a long time to get this prepped and done ready for paint so let's get that done first and let's see how far we get today um and yeah let's see see if we can you know get it looking better than what it was to begin with uh, to be honest with you i think i have like it's come out really really well a lot of people were saying you'll never get that out you'll never pull that you'll never get it done right you'll never get it looking good but I think that's come out a lot. That's come out a hell of a lot, considering what it was. So, yeah, it does take time, guys. Don't get me wrong. I have taken a lot of, a lot of time doing this. But so would, would the body shop. Don't know, really. They, I don't think they would mess around with this, would they? 
but they just cut it out and go, oh, weld another piece in probably, wouldn't they? Anyway, I've learned a lot on this one, guys, um, and I keep learning every time I take on a little challenge like this. So, guys, let me set you up. Let's go for the filler. Let's see what it can look like once we're done. So let's crack on. Let's do this. Right, okay, guys, that's the first coat um, kind of thing. First uh, bit of filler to go on. And obviously, we've got to build it up a little bit, but not too much, to be honest with you. Um, I'll just have to shut the door. And again, I'll shut the door and work out where we are when it comes to... It's been like it for a little while now, so I could probably shut the door, actually, and have a look now. So yeah, we just got to build it out a little bit more, build it up a little bit there. That was the bit that, that was the hardest bit I couldn't get out. So I need to build that up a little bit more, but uh, all the rest actually seem, seems all right, actually. A bit more building up there. I can tell when I'm looking down. So yeah, because I leave that um, just to go off a little bit more and then we'll jump on. We'll, I'll rub it down a little bit, then I'll give it another coat. Um, I have taken the headlight bulbs out of this cut this van in the end, and this is what it looks like. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to take the risk. Really, it's not worth taking a risk that this will not um, pass the MOT. It just, do you know what I mean? So I thought just, <laughs> this just changed them over for the original and a, a normal original bulb halogen. So that's what I've done. Um, so that's all sorted. In the, whilst I was doing that, I was just checking sort of other bulbs. Everything's working. And then I've checked, tested the rear as well, brake lights. And I think we've got a brake light out. And it's this side here. So I think this one is out. So we've got to get this off. And uh, get to that bulb. I don't know how to do that. How do you do that? Probably from there, from the back or whatever. So let me just set you up, guys. Let me just whip that over. We'll have a look at that, change that bulb, get that done. And then we'll jump to the side and then we'll carry on with the filler um, on there and get that built up a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. So let's keep going. 
Let's do this. Right, okay guys, so yes, I've done the bulb um, and it was pretty easy really, to be honest with you. There's a bolt just there and there's a bolt at the bottom just there, which are Torx bits. Just undo those two screws and that just pops out, just making sure the door is right at an angle like that. Um, but yeah, that pops out, switched over the bulbs, checked to make sure that the brake light's working um, and that's it, yeah, done. So that's just another... It's just another little little steps and little bits and pieces like I like to do just to check before it goes for an MOT that all bulbs are working and everything should work as it as it should. So yeah, that's done. Um, we've also put a little bit more um, of filler on this side as well. This 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 filler is gone. Um, it's like a white filler, so as you can see, so it's definitely sort of blending in a lot better. Um, I've got to leave it now to, to, to go off and um, again, we'll rub it down and we'll give it another coat until I'm happy that, you know, I don't want this, I can't shut this door completely yet because I don't want it to touch the filler or, you know, cause any problems uh, sticking to the door or whatever. So that's why it's like that. But when I shut the door, then we've got a reference to see how straight and flat it is. Um, I've also got that, you know, the dolphin um, filler as well so we can use that if we come across it i think on this one i'm gonna use um like uh a, it's God, what's that it's like you, you spray it on um a bit of bit of paint and it gives you a, a guide coat is it guide coat paint or something like that you spray it on and you can see if it is um if it's not enough to prep before you, you sort of start painting it with base coat you can do it with, with this guide coat so I will probably guide coat it first just to see how good it looks because we might have to go backwards and do a bit more filling, a bit more sanding and that sort of stuff. So, but yeah, I'm going to try and get this um, no, the best I can really. Um, but I just don't, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about the colour shade. I'll be honest with you. Um, I, I just don't want to mess up, you know, the colour shade. I don't want to make it look worse than what it is. So... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's like anything. You have to give it a go. You have to try. If you don't try, you'll never know. Um, and that's kind of always been my motto, really. Uh, I am a trier, guys. You know that. Um, so, but this one, this van is definitely, definitely moving along nicely. Um, it, we are getting through it all. We're getting it done. Um, so, 
yeah yeah so you know it just um just just little bits and pieces uh, i have got a, another project coming in tomorrow it's one of you guys it's a subscriber it's been following me for a very long time uh, i've done some work for him before in the past um i've sold him uh, a car for his daughter a uh, little blue fiat 500 and he's gonna bring me his little camper van conversion that he'd done a camper van uh, he wants to bring it to me to do a little bit of paintwork on both sides and we'll be starting that tomorrow and uh, see how that goes. I need to go and get the paint ordered, uh, you know, come and collect the, 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 the petrol flap again. They go and, you know, make the paint, bring it back to me and that sort of stuff. So I've got all that going on. I'll show you that project tomorrow. But for now, that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. Um, time has absolutely run away with me again. I think what takes the, the time out of the day is, is doing the welding and the pulling and the spot welding and, and that sort of stuff. Yeah, it really does just drains the actual time out of the day. But we are definitely moving along with this van, like I said. So um, definitely moving forward. And that is the key to doing this. Is As long as you're moving forward, um, it's, uh, it's all good. So, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoy seeing what I'm doing. Uh, if you do, don't forget, give the video a thumbs up and drop me a comment if you've got anything to say. So have a, have a good evening, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow on the next one.